guys, what's up? Today we are going to talk about my experiences with Obamacare and getting my government paid medical insurance stuff. This isn't a video about Obama in any way. I don't have any negative feelings towards Obama right now. And um, even though I know a lot of the country does, I always find it really interesting how towards the end of a president's um, term, everyone starts to hate them. So today we're not going to be talking about Obama himself. We are going to be talking about my experiences with trying to get um, health care provided by my government based on my lack of income. The way that I understand Obamacare is that Obamacare is kind of the name for our national health care. And each state has its own uh, group that handles their state's health care situation. So in my case, um, it is called Covered California. And from there, Covered California, if you are approved, you get um, sectioned off into um, like the next section. And then from there, they go into your county and find um, which medical group in your county you are going to be part of. Back in 2012 when Obamacare first started, I knew that I made it the, I guess, enough money to um, apply for Obamacare. And so they said you can start your application on October 1st, and then they would start um, approving applications at the beginning of 2013. So on October 1st, I went on to the website, which was janky, and um, I put in all my information, I clicked go, and I thought that that was going to be the end of it, that I was going to have health care next year. So um, I was taken off of my parents' health care on January 1st and thought that I was good to go. Um, I didn't hear anything for a couple of weeks and I kept checking my process online and it was saying that it was pending. And so I was a couple of weeks into January, I was starting to feel concerned and so I called and they're like, oh yeah, you know, we're just really backed up. We have a lot of people who, you know, obviously applied and we're just really backed up. So let me go check your stuff. So she looked through my profile and said, yeah, you look good. I'm gonna approve you right now. Um, you'll get paperwork in six to eight weeks and you should be good to go. Eight weeks go by, I don't have anything. I waited an additional two weeks just in case, still don't have anything, call them back up again. They're like, oh, nobody put your paperwork through. You haven't been in through the process. And I'm like, okay. And they're like, I'll do that for you today. I'm like, okay, great. You'll get something in 68 weeks. I'm like, cool. <sighs> 68 weeks go by again. I still don't have anything. So this is like six months already that I've been in the year um, without health insurance. When I called, they told me that I was approved for Medi-Cal, which is like the subset of Covered California and that they just needed to get me into my county to um, figure out like which doctor and which hospital I was going to be part of. So I asked them like what exactly am I covered for? Like can I go see a doctor? And they told me no. And I said okay well what if I have an emergency like I get into a car accident? And they said you're covered for any emergency services. So if you go into an emergency room with something um, just let them know that you are covered under Medi-Cal and then Medi-Cal would reimburse you for all of your emergency service. So um, after another 68 weeks, I called again and I was not happy. Every time that I would call, they would tell me, oh, the person before you just never put through your paperwork, it's never been processed, you're approved, we just never um, like went through the steps to like get you your paperwork. And to me, like, that's absolutely ridiculous. This is my health care. If I had gotten really sick or, you know, anything, if I needed to go to the doctor, like, I should be able to go to the doctor. And if this, if this is something that my government is supposed to be providing me, then why am I having so much of an issue trying to get it? I've already been approved. I know that I can have it. So what is taking so long? So I... Um, after talking to multiple people multiple times and everyone telling me that they were actually going to do something, I was pissed. Um, the very last time I called, I got a man on the phone and he told me that the exact same thing. Oh, it looks like you've been approved. I'm like, yeah, I know. And it looks like they just haven't processed your paperwork. So let me just do that for you. And I'm like, you know what? I've been calling every six to eight weeks since January and I don't believe that you're actually going to do it, so I'm not going to get off the phone with you until you do it. And you know, he was no, 
not as rude as I would have been to me. But um, he was like, okay, yeah, well, let me set that up for you. And then three weeks later, I get my paperwork. So this is in September. So I have now gone nine months without having any type of medical insurance um, besides emergency services. Unfortunately, right after that, um, my husband, who was my fiance at the time, and I decided we were moving um, to a different part of the state. So I had been approved and stuck into a county program, but now we were moving. So we moved to another part of the state and um, I had to let them know within like so many days, which I did, and the process started over again. I've been approved, we have your new address, we have that you've moved, but I'm still not getting paperwork in the mail. After a few more months of that, I finally got my paperwork, I got approved. There was a lot of issues because, so in California and I think in a couple of other states, there is a medical group called Kaiser. I was born in a Kaiser, I've had Kaiser my entire life, and I just wanted to be back at Kaiser, and Medi-Cal lets you have Kaiser if you've had them before within the past year, but since, I technically didn't have medical insurance for the past year, they wouldn't let me have Kaiser again. I wanted Kaiser because I knew how their system worked. They had all of my medical history from all of my life, all of my childhood, like um, asthma and allergy tests, and then all the way up to like my surgery a few years ago. They had all of that information, whereas like if I, Whereas if I went to a new doctor, I would have to have that transported over. And I knew I was getting married in a few months. I knew that I only had to deal with not having Kaiser for a few months, but it still really pissed me off because I technically should have had Kaiser the entire time because I should have been enrolled in Kaiser from the very beginning when I stopped my parents' insurance, which was Kaiser, and went on to Medi-Cal. I should have just been very seamless, like, okay, you're approved for Obamacare slash Medi-Cal, and you know, you have had Kaiser in the past year, so you should get Kaiser, but now because of their incompetence to do their job, I don't have Kaiser. I woke up Sunday morning before, the week before my wedding, and I had strep throat. Since it was a Sunday, my uh, government appointed medical office was closed and I had to go to an emergency room, which I'm covered for, right? So I go to an emergency room, I let them know that I'm medical, I show them my information, they're like, all right, we'll get you in. I go in there, it's like way too big of a deal for having strep throat, like put me in a bed, like hooked me up to like blood pressure machines and stuff. And, and so I saw a doctor, she was like, yep, you have strep throat, I'll give you this medicine, blah, blah. We pay the bill, we leave, and come to find out that for some reason, Medi-Cal's not gonna reimburse me for the money I spent on my emergency visit, even though I'm covered, and even though they told me that I would be. My main, so my main problem with Obamacare isn't really Obamacare, isn't really covered California, or Medi-Cal, or any of that. It's the people who are working there and not doing their jobs. All right guys, thanks so much for listening to my rant about Obamacare and Covered California and all of those other things. If you've had issues with them, I want to see your videos or put your stories down below. Make sure you click like and make sure you subscribe and have a good weekend guys. Bye.